Ventura Rocks. Thank you so much for listening to the little interview here and jamming with us for a little bit. I don't know if I should be talking, so let's play a song. Welcome to the Ventura Rock Spot. Each episode, we feature musicians in the Ventura area, as well as the musicians who travel here to play. We hope you enjoy. Hi guys, my name is Kyle Smith and I play guitar and sing, period. What's up everybody? I'm Scotty Beats. I play drums. My name is Drew. I play the trumpet. Hello, my name is Christopher Nishida and I play the bass guitar. You can find my music on kylesmithjams.com, facebook.com slash kylesmithjam and Kyle Smith Jams on Instagram. There's way too many jams, and I'm not trying to rhyme. This is Kyle Smurf. Uh, this is Skirty Burr, otherwise known as Skirty Bo. Um, Christopher Nishito, Christmas Cheetah. Um, yeah. And then I just call myself Drew. That was good for my soul. They got to catch you. Singing in my ear. They got to press play. Make it all so clear. They got to let you go. But it never settled now. I would classify my music as uh, punk rock, reggae, hip hop, kind of surf rock, a little bit of dub, a little bit of everything. No, no genres. We we, we keep it very genre genreless. My favorite beach to hang out on and why is uh, it's got to be Macavalena Beach in Hawaii. You got to walk like a mile through some really gnarly lava rocks so like nobody really goes back there. Yeah, the sand is white and it's super fine. Uh, my favorite beach to go to is also in Hawaii. It's Lanikai Beach uh, on, uh, on Oahu. It's probably one of the most beautiful beaches in the world. You go there, you're automatically like, ah. Um, the favorite, my favorite beach that I've ever been to was a beach in New Zealand. I don't remember the name of this beach or the city. I'm not even entirely sure how I got there. Uh, Halama Beach, about an hour and a half north of Ventura here. I've been going there surfing since I was a little kid. I've played with a lot of really good musicians and a lot of really good writers. I've been around a lot of really good writers. But 
how easy this dude writes stuff and can just picture a whole song in his head and then hit the studio up and then it comes out exactly like he wants it. It's an amazing thing to watch. These guys can totally agree with me. I know they can. Well, I mean, 100%. And not only just writing the songs, but going in the studio and, and doing it, you know, as efficiently as Kyle does. I mean, he'll go in there and track it, and it sounds great, like, every time. And I've played around some really good musicians, too, like Scotty has, like Chris has. We all have. We've all played with people that are really great. I go to music school, you know, where people are, like, actually trying to do it, and they're not, like like Kyle, you know. You don't meet people like this a lot, you know, so it's it's it's... Truly an honor. It's a little jam about Long Beach, California. It's a song called Jaded. Yeah. Hey, where you from? Think you might have ended up on the wrong side of town. Watch you go and grab your gun. one song with a particular meaningful story behind it it would be uh, I'd say Jaded because um, I wrote that song a couple years ago and the main thing was uh, it, it was kind of like supposed to be this the lyrics are like this conversation with myself about addiction and about like you know corrupted youth like in I, I lived in Long Beach when I was a teenager and I saw like a lot of basically everybody that I was hanging out with like you know all everybody went their separate ways you know and, and a lot of people that I you know used with as a teenager or whatever like ended up dead or in prison and, and that's just like you know reality you know so every, you know uh, I guess it was kind of a inner dialogue of like you know of like temptation you know and um, and that's kind of what the the court the verses and and um, and the choruses of that song are about definitely to get you, hear them screaming in your head real loud, you can find a way to turn the boy around. This music deal is very, very interesting, it's very unpredictable, it can be very humbling, and um, I don't know, I mean it always puts me in check just at the right times when I need it. The coolest all the dying, and when the covers are arriving, nobody speaks. So the Ventura music scene has heavily influenced me by um, by supporting me and letting me get on stage with my acoustic guitar. Um, everybody's been really supportive, and um, you know, just to be able to have you know guys like Randy. I'm not going to throw any last names out there, but Randy and like you know some street teamers and people that you know like really really push for the stuff and bringing out of town bands and all that. They're uh, they basically gave me a shot, you know what I mean, and, and gave me a chance at opening for some touring bands that were coming through here. Uh, Ventura music scene, how it's influenced me. Um, it's like my family. I have met so many people through this Ventura music scene that I'm so close with now, like the Lion City group and, you know, Philly and Sarah and Ezra 
everybody, you know, Randy, everybody that I've met through the music scene, they're like family. They accept us for who we are. I love it, you know? <laughs> We're a bunch of weirdos. <laughs> they accept that. It's really rad. So, yeah. There's a lot of great musicians out here, a lot of people doing their thing, a lot of great artists. Um, it's kind of a smaller community. You get a good chance to meet people, get out there. Um, I'm very thankful I was able to be part of it, and I was able to move out here and start meeting people and be able to express myself through music, meet other people that want to do that too. And um, I don't know if I would have been able to do that in um, many other places. I mean, I'm from the Central Valley, and up there there was not a lot of uh, opportunity for music, I'm, I'm very thankful that I get to be a musician in Ventura County. There's always so much stuff going on. The other guys on this couch right now all play in different bands, whether it be reggae or jazz or just acoustic gigs, and I think they can vouch that I've shown up to all their gigs to help them, all, you know, and, and jam it out. And there's just, I mean, all my friends play music, and it's really cool that we can, one, do what we love, but maybe make a little money on the side, you know, and pay my rent with my guitar. It's like did I make it? I don't know, you know, <laughs> like, but it's a, it's an incredible blessing, man. This in Ventura, it's feasible in LA. It's really hard. New York, it's really, really hard, but Ventura, look, we can do it. And then you get big enough and then we can, you know, move to ocean beach when we need to, but. All right. All right. Ready when you guys are. Phone's put away. Everybody good. All right. All right. I'm singing nail that There's gotta be something more. I can't say no. Even when I think of a million places that to rather go About to pack my bags and take a trip straight down to Mexico They say that only the good die young The side of the kid Say that only the good die young What I would like people to take away from my music is um, I really want the underdogs, the lower class, the misfits the dope fiends, the degenerates, the what else you want to call it, uh, gutter hypes. I could think of all kind of different words for certain types of people like us, but um, it would definitely be uh, don't lose hope. There is, you know, there's always a, a way out and um, you don't have to. Um, basically, I just want everybody to feel like they're not alone and uh, they have a friend and um, that, you know, you can turn your life around and, and you were 1000% in control and um, I don't know I mean if, if my lyrics or anything like that can help anybody in any way then that's kind of what I think about when I'm writing you know Next for Kyle Smith is a full length album. Let's forget about the struggle and we'll leave it all here. We can bitch you that little but we throw him back some beers. Reality, I wanna be so numb. Tell me I got a problem, but to be my boy. Tell me I got a problem, but to be my boy. Drew Drew, rip it up! for watching our Ventura Rock Spot episode.